Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be down below in the description, but you can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website too, and it's free to sign up and join, so go ahead and go check it out. But let's see what we have going on for our squiggly line sign today. A lot of you guys have been carrying other people's burdens or responsibilities, but you're about to get blessed here with a lot of prosperity, a lot of abundance here with the pig. By the way, I'm using the Aquarian Spirit Tarot, which you can find on the shop section of my website, and that's the only place you can find it at. But either way, you're about to get blessed with a lot of prosperity, a lot of abundance here, Aquarius. We have Aos that you're connecting with. Aos is helping you rise back up towards the light here, getting out of darkness, ascending. So you guys are raising your vibration. And because you're raising your vibration, you're attracting in higher vibrational opportunities. Okay? And once again, we have a lot of abundance coming your way. You're being blessed, Aquarius. You got some super blessings coming in. And you guys are releasing the past. You may be releasing burdens. You may be releasing other people's burdens. Letting go of all that. You know, letting go of restrictions and stepping up into a place, a position of power and authority here and using that power and authority to help heal other people around you and you guys may be studying something here that's going to help you advance really far in life Aquarius. This could be something for spirituality here. It could be something for your career as well. But the Queen of Wands is here. So the Queen of Wands is the queen that's ambitious. She's fiery. She's passionate here. She's about action. She can either be you or just somebody that's around you. But what I see so far in this reading is you getting super super blessed. Okay? So let's see more on what we have going on for Aquarius. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords to be yourself, either male or female, does not matter. See, a lot of you guys have been working very hard here, and you're celebrating. You're celebrating because you're about to have a big breakthrough moment. You're celebrating because you're getting all the abundance. You're getting blessed here from the universe again. This is a great moment for you here and there's there's life's gonna start to move forward for you and it's about to pick up for you Aquarius life's gonna start moving fast get ready all right there's a the nine of swords there's somebody sitting here with a lot of anxiety a lot of worry here I don't know if if that's you or somebody around I don't feel like you're sitting here with anxiety and worry because I feel like you're celebrating there's somebody else around you that has a lot of anxiety and worry king of cups could be a water sign cancer Pisces or a Scorpio maybe an earth sign here too Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Maybe they're having a lot of anxiety about you because they miss you. They miss being a part of your life again, Aquarius. They want to talk to you. What you do with these people, that's going to be up to you. Mm -hmm. Let me go over here and see more with these cards. I feel like you may be kind of guarded towards them. The moon. We also have a connection with your moon sign, but I feel like you may be kind of guarded towards these people, maybe because you feel like you're they are kind of uh, deceptive towards you. Maybe you feel like they're hiding something from you or hiding somebody from you, Aquarius. Maybe this person's a Cancer Zodiac sign, because I get Cancer quite heavily here. Yeah, maybe, maybe this person is with somebody else, and I feel like you may know it, Aquarius. I feel like you're kind of avoiding them, but they keep trying to approach you, and I feel like you're like, I know this is not, you know, this is not happening, you know? And I feel like you may have somebody else coming in anyways that's single, and where you don't have to deal with them already, you know, having a girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, whatever. You know, you don't have to deal with those things. If you don't have to deal with those things, why? Why would you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many other people out there in this world that are not already with somebody. So why would you pick somebody that's already with somebody? You know, if they cheat on that person, they're going to cheat on you with somebody else. Just saying, Aquarius. You know, I feel, see, you're not even interested in it. You're like, no. You know, no. King of Cups, once again, this is a water sign doing this. Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Okay. Let me go over here. So these cards see more. I 
We have the rabbit. The rabbit is good luck. The rabbit's abundance. Once again, you're getting blessed with abundance. And I feel like you're being distant towards whoever that person is that is like trying to, you know, be with you, but be with other people at the same time. Aquarius being distant towards them. And once again, you're going to be learning something here that's extremely important to you. It's valuable to you. It's something you're interested in. All right. We have the universe coming in and blessing you with gifts, money here, abundance. And you're cutting off cords with the past. You're cutting off cords with things that are making you feel restricted here. And what, what you see as treasure, what's extremely valuable to you, is coming in for you, Aquarius. It is coming in. Is what I see for you. There's somebody, yeah, there's somebody here you're walking away from because it's like you don't really feel the connection there anymore. Or maybe you felt like there never really was a connection, so I feel like you're really just kind of like leaving it alone. Uh, but we have a new money opportunity coming in for you that's going to lead to you having a lot of money here. And you guys, um, you guys have been working extremely hard here. There's somebody from your past trying to pop back up into your life, Aquarius. This person could be a Scorpio here. Scorpio. This person wants the Ten of Cups with you. They want the happy relationship, the happy marriage, the happy family, happily ever after with you. What you do with this person, that's going to be up to you. But this is somebody here that's trying to reappear back in your life, trying to be with you again. Emperor. I also get potential Aries here too. Um, but some of you guys, you could be focusing on your business. Your business could be growing here. You're going after what you really want for your life, Aquarius, which that could be anything. There is a relationship coming your way. Or it could be the romantic relationship. You and them could be extremely committed here. Maybe moving forward into marriage even. Um, and you guys are also releasing restrictions. You're releasing binds here, Aquarius. You're releasing things that have broken your heart. Um, the moon. We have you connected with your moon sign. Whatever that is for you. Once again, you're all going to have different moon placements. Okay, that's what it is. There was somebody here that was ignoring you before. They're no longer ignoring you. They're trying to reappear back in your life and they're trying to reconcile with you. Once again, I get heavily that this person could be a Scorpio or an Aries here. What do you do with that? That's going to be up to you. But I feel like you guys are focusing here on self-love, self-care. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, once again, could be yourself or the male or female. It does not matter. But look, there's... You see, this person... I feel like they ignored you before. They ignored you before. The blockage between you and them has been removed, so it, it could move forward if you wanted it to. But for a lot of you guys, I feel like you don't really appreciate being ignored here. And once again, I get heavily that this person could be Scorpio here. Um, there may also be somebody here that's missing a pet or an animal they used to have. That could be you, or that could be this person here. But what you've been wishing for is about to be coming in for you. Everything that you've been desiring, it's coming in, Aquarius. It's happening here. And you're remaining focused on what you desire. And you doing that, it's going to bring it in. It could be new opportunities coming in for you. It could be new love as well. Aquarius, new beginnings, new ideas here. You know, new things that you're doing. You're manifesting it. All right. Manifesting your heart's desires. There, okay, so there may, there may be somebody here that regrets what they said or did to you. It's like they want to apologize to you. They want to come in and try to make things right or whatever. This is somebody here that's in their feelings about you, Aquarius. <laughs> They're in their feelings about you is what I feel like. This person, yeah, they, they want to reconcile with you. There's somebody here that wants to reconcile with you. I get heavy water, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio here. Um, potential Gemini too. But this is somebody that wants to reconcile here. They want to, they want to be with you. What you do with them, that's going to be up to you. If star, star is Aquarius, that could be yourself here. But I feel like you've been, what you've been wishing for is about to happen here. And we have you guys also kind of reconnecting back more with your spirituality. You guys may be setting up some strong boundaries with some people around you. Some of you guys may have been setting up some strong boundaries with the King of Wands, a Fire Sign, an Aries Seal, or a Sagittarius. But once again, there's something you're studying that I feel like is going to allow you to progress very far forward in life here. King of Swords. King of Swords be yourself. For the male or female does not matter. There's a King of Cups here, though. And some of you guys may be walking away from a King of Cups, a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. <coughs> you guys are sitting here manifesting. All right, manifesting your desires here. We have a connection with the Night Star Goddess, Aquarius. So 
with you doing that, you may need to go speak out your wishes outside at night here. Uh, some of you guys may be having some psychic dreams about something you are manifesting. <coughs> some of you guys may be also having some psychic dreams about what to not take action towards. There's also somebody, you may be having some psychic dreams about somebody here that's watching you as well. There's somebody here appearing in your dreams, it's because they're watching you. It's a man here that's watching you, King of Swords. Um, a lot of you guys have also kind of like, made decisions that's gonna that's like for the best of like humanity around you here and once again what you've been wishing for is about to happen for you Aquarius some of you guys be going to some place where it's like paradise there's a beach here you know what I'm saying it's like nice scenery um, you're also getting answers that you needed Aquarius okay and the princess of wands the princess of wands is the princess about action she's fiery she's passionate once again she can either be you or just somebody that's around you you're being told you can move in whatever direction that you want, Aquarius. And you got justice happening for you. You got justice. Okay? For what I feel like is a lot of situations and may have been like a lot of betrayals that you're getting justice for. And you got success. You got victory here. You got people looking up to you. You got people admiring your work. They're like, wow, Aquarius is really, you know doing something here there may there may have been somebody here there may be people fighting over you what you want for your life is just up ahead for you Aquarius and once again we have queen of wands here we have fire fires air sea or Sagittarius some of you guys may have fire in your birth chart there could be a fire sign around you here again all right some of you guys may be doing some chilling some resting here when you need to and you're getting truth and clarity you're getting answers that you needed Aquarius some of you guys may choose to be single and independent here, uh, but you have your financial independence coming your way here. Some of you guys be getting enough money to buy the car, and you're releasing the past. Once again, there's also a Cancer and a Scorpio here that I feel like wants to be with you. All right, Empress. You guys are appearing as the Empress. You're moving forward towards your abundance here. We have you guys connect with your Venus sign. Some of you guys can have a uh, Scorpio Venus, maybe Cancer Venus here. Um, Maybe fire as well. But whatever it is, still connect with it. Whatever it is for you. Maybe even Capricorn too. But I feel like you guys are deciding to take a leap of faith here in a new direction towards everything that you've been wishing for, Aquarius. And it's like you're kind of just leaving the past alone. You're completing it and it's justice for you. You're leaving behind old cycles here. Maybe even karmic cycles, but everything is like a karmic cycle. You know, there's some type of karma involved, whether that be good or bad. But either way. Leave me behind old things of the past, Aquarius, moving forward in a different direction here, a new chapter, a new cycle here, maybe even getting justice for some sort of conflict in your life that you felt like you had defeat in. Um, there's somebody here that's also watching you. Once again, they're watching you. They're about to send you a message here, or they're debating on whether or not to send you a message here. What should they do? This person is somebody here that's broken your heart before. But I feel like they want to reconcile and they want to try and, you know, act like they, they want a committed relationship with you or whatever here, Aquarius. This person's going to be coming in to, um, to commit with you. Maybe, maybe they do want to commit this time. You know, <laughs> it'll depend. Whatever you want to do with them. But there's somebody here that's coming in wanting to communicate with you. Queen of Wands, be fire. But you're also going to have new love coming in at the same time. So once again, what you do, that's going to be up to you. But there, there could be new love rushing in. Here, there could be the past trying to come back in, Aquarius. Somebody here is still hanging on to you here. All right, Emperor, I get one of them could be Aries again. You know, they're trying to they're trying to get back into your life. Some of you guys may just kind of leave this person blocked or something, or you may end up blocking them, or there's somebody here you end up blocking. We have the King of Pentacles as well. We have Earth here too. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. That may be one of these people could be. Um, but there's somebody here coming in with a love offer towards you. But I feel like you're not interested in their love offer with you walking away from them and kind of rejecting it, Aquarius, once again. Because maybe you feel like there's a lot of unknowns with that person still. Once again, you're heading off in a new beginning, a new direction here is what I feel like for you guys. Yeah, you're taking action towards a new direction in your life, Aquarius. And I feel like you're looking towards your future What's next for you? What are you doing here? And um, a lot of you guys are reconnecting back to your spirituality. Okay? 
you got to be open to it. You got to be open to also receiving abundance, Aquarius, because how is abundance going to come in if you're not open to it? Okay. I feel like you're using your intuition on what's the next steps for you to take here. And once again, I feel like you're committing back to your spirituality. Again, it keeps popping up in your reading. So with you doing that, I feel like you're actually going to be an extremely abundant person. You got options in love. You got money here. You got a lot of good things happening, right? So that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can go check out even more content on my website too. All right, say goodbye, guys.